Hey, welcome to 60 Seconds 2. So your video playback is choppy and you tried everything and it's driving you crazy. So today I'm going to give you five things to check that will help you make your previews play flawlessly. But the first thing we're going to do is check if you have GPU acceleration on or not. So to get there, you're going to do file project settings general. If you have this screen here and your rendering is set to software only, that's going to slow everything down. It's going to use a software for playback. If you have in this drop down box, if you have a good graphics card and it has RAM on it, you want to choose GPU acceleration open CL. You might also, depending on your graphic card, see something that says Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration CUDA, C-U-D-A. If you have that, choose that. This will be available if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. In my case, or if you have a Mac, make sure you're set to OpenCL. And once you've done that, just select OK. And just by doing that could make your rendering a lot faster. <sighs> Yeah, cache if you're on a Mac, you're going to go up to Premiere Pro at the top, down to Preferences, and then scroll down to Media Cache. In Windows, which is what I'm on, we're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and then come up to Media Cache, and then this window will pop up right here. So now here we have a, a little button. This will remove Media Cache files. There's another one that says Media Cache Database. But that's actually a much smaller file set. The bigger files are in this media cache. So if we click on that delete, we have this box here. So there's two options here, delete and use media cache files. And this one's blanked out at the moment. But this will actually go check the media cache database. And it will delete any unused media cache files that are not being currently used. And then this one says delete all media cache files from the system. We can't choose that because we currently have a project open. So we need to cancel this and cancel this and then go down and close our project. So we're going to click on close project and I'm going to say yes to save my project and this going to close it out. And then what we have to do is actually close down Premiere Pro, exit out of this, and then restart it. So remember, this is not going to actually delete any media files. It's just going to delete the cache files that it collects and wipe them out now that we're started up again. So now we can just go back to Edit, Preferences, go back to where we were with Media Cache, and now then go to Delete. And then we now can delete all of the media cache. Just select OK. And that will now delete. Go through and delete all the cache from the system. So once you've done that, you can select OK. And now you're ready to, to carry on from where you were. I can click on this. And it'll make new cache files as it needs to. Once it finds the information it needs. But if you have any things going on with strains like the rendering, like we're trying to do the choppy playback, this is a good one to try to fix that. Okay, and that should do it for Media Cache. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the, this one is actually just dropping the resolution of the playback. So instead of trying to edit while you're in full 4K, drop it down while you're editing, and that'll allow it to run smoother. So let's give that a try. <sighs> So one other thing you can try when you're in edit mode here, you have this little playback function here. This is the resolution, so full resolution. So this is what it looks like. Um, keep in mind that this isn't the resolution when you export your meter, media out. So this is just this preview window. And the lower you go, the easier it is for it to render out in the preview. Um, this happens to be a 60 frame per second clip in 4K. So if I try to do that in full frame from here, 
and I press play. You can see it doesn't even play. It actually just sits here and then jumps all the way down to the end of it. So what would happen if we change the resolution down? So let's change this down to half or a quarter and then now press play. And it's still struggling. Still struggling even, even at a quarter here. So we drop this down to an eighth and let's see whether this plays. It's a little bit better. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And then it struggles again. One of the other reasons why this is struggling is because it's on a USB drive, like a normal passport USB drive, not an SSD drive, and that makes a big difference. So here, let's do this. Let's do, let's save this as, I'm going to go to the uh, my local drive here and say okay let's save it as that I'm gonna say yes so now it's on an SSD drive so now if I play it back at an eighth you can see it plays with no issue so a lot of this problem was that it was on a USB drive and let's see if I go up to half and see if that will play if I go back here even that plays nope that's struggling even on the SSD drive let's see this that does make it play so that's another thing you can do is play around with these different resolutions again when you export your movie out no matter what you have set here this is only for the preview while you're editing it's not going to affect the actual 4K output or 1080p or whatever you're outputting to. So the next one to try is turning the effects on and off and just muting them as you're editing. So you might have a bunch of uh, color LUTs, third party plugins, what have you, and they're all stacked up on a bunch of video clips. Well, this will also slow down the, the system. So you can just mute them or turn them off while you're editing. And then when you export your video, they'll be turned back on. So this can also help speed up the process. So another thing you can do is something that's called like turning the effects on and off. You've had a whole bunch of clips and you put all sorts of effects on them and third party plugins and colored this and then added more color and special effects. All this also adds to a lot of work that Premiere has to do. So one of the things you can use up here is a toggle. And if you go to your layout here, up in the project program panel, click on this and we're looking for the effects button, which is right here. Do this, drag this down onto your timeline, say okay. And now what we can do, if this was even stacked a lot of different uh, clips just by clicking this on and off you can turn off the effects which just makes it be able to play a lot smoother the effects aren't gone you just turn them back on when you want to export out and everything's fine and you can just turn them off here and that just takes all these different colored layers and effects and add-ons that you've done to this so this also might help you uh, with your playback and you know your rendering so turning them on and off here and that might help out the uh, rendering speed as well for our next way of improving it definitely works is creating proxies people are afraid of these but actually they work really well you just mean proxies just mean you're going to store the clip or be re-edited as a lower resolution video clip but then that allows you to run smoothly while you're editing but also you can turn that off and when you export your videos out, they can still be 4K or whatever resolution you want to. But it'll definitely help uh, running your editing process and it'll run a lot smoother. So let's give that one a try. So our last and probably the best way to work with footage like this that's giving you issues 
is to create a proxy. And for those of you who don't know, creating a proxy takes the footage and makes a lower resolution of it that allows you to work with that, edit it, and then you can toggle that on and off and export out your finished product as 4K or high resolution. So how do you do this? First thing we want to do is go over to the little toggle for the proxy. Click on this plus button if it's not here. It looks like this guy here. Drag this down to here and say OK. This is the proxy button to toggle. So you can take all of your video clips if you want to. In my case, I'm just going to take uh, this one here. Right click, come down to proxy, create proxy. This dialog box is going to come up here. You want to choose H264. In your second box here, you have three options, low resolution, medium and high. We'll stick with low and just say OK. This will open the media encoder and it will make a second lower resolution copy that you can now use to do your editing. But again, when you finish, you, you export um, the high resolution. It doesn't affect it. It just allows you to use a lower resolution to do all your edits on and makes it smoother for you to work and edit. So it's doing its thing down here by um, making the new low re resolution of this video clip. And it does its thing. Okay, when that's done, you can just close this down. And now all you've got to do is use this proxy over here to run the proxy version of this. And when you go back to this, you can run the full version. Again, clicking on this, and then it allows you to run the lower resolution to allow your editing. Uh, it's as simple as that. That'll save you a lot of time. When you're done here, uh, when the proxy is on or off, when you're going to export your video, it won't make any difference. This little toggle switch, you can turn it off so that you're back to your normal high resolution clip. And now by changing this here back to full, we turn the proxy on, we should be able to run this with no issue. And it's as simple as that. So hope this, hopefully this all worked out and it'll get you up and running a lot smoother than before. Thanks for watching. Please leave comments underneath and give us a subscribe and like and we really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.